everyone so today we're going to look at our three and six times tables and we're going to think about doubling so doubling is when you're multiplying a number by two so that means that you're making a number twice as big so first of all we know that one times three is three so to find out one times six we know that three is half of six that means that we need to double three to get the answer to one times six which is six and we can see that from our arrays here one two three four five six okay so two times three is six and we know that because we know our three times tables so three six and then what do we need to do to 6 to get 2 times 6 if we know that 1 times 3 is 3 and we doubled that to get 1 times 6? We need to double 6 to get 2 times 6. So we can use our arrays again and we have two rows of 6 columns. That means 2 times 6 is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. So that means that double six is twelve. So now let's have a look at this last one. Three times three. Well, we already know that three times three is three, six, nine, nine. So what do we need to do to nine? To get three times six if we have a look at our work up here we know that to get two times six we needed to double six and to get one times six we needed to double three so that means that to get three times six we need to double nine so we can use our arrays again and we have three rows of six columns that means that we have one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that means that three times six is eighteen, and that means that nine doubled is eighteen. So now you can have a look at your worksheets and see if you can answer your questions for today. Um and have a think about your three and six times tables and how if you know your three times tables, it could help you to work out your six times tables.